rebuild procedures for the Holland FW8 fifth wheel. Note, you must read and understand all of the safety procedures presented in the manual before starting any work on the SAF Holland product. First, remove the fifth wheel top plate from the tractor. Place the fifth wheel top plate upside down on a flat working surface and completely disassemble the fifth wheel top plate. Important, this rebuild procedure will result in several parts of your fifth wheel being replaced. New parts are included in the rebuild kit that came with this procedure. Do not reuse old parts that were removed during disassembly. Prior to the rebuild, thoroughly steam clean the top plate. Then inspect the top plate for cracks, damage, distortion, and loose lock pinholes. Fifth wheels with cracks or loose lock pinholes must be replaced. Important, do not attempt to repair or rebuild the fifth wheel if the top plate is cracked, damaged, or distorted, or if the lock pins do not fit tightly in the top plate. Warning, failure to replace a cracked, damaged, or distorted top plate could result in improper fifth wheel operation and trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in serious injury or death. Visually check the underside of your top plate. If it is not equipped with a cast-in wedge stop, the wedge stop block and blocking plunger with strap must be used. If your fifth wheel was equipped with a lock return spring, position it in the casting. Now drive the roll pin into the hole, through the lock return spring, and into the lower hole in the casting. To install the lock, lubricate the contact surfaces of the lock with a light grease. Lubricate the lock pin holes of the lock and both lock pin holes of the casting with Neverseize, which is provided in the installation kit. Do not substitute. Slide the lock from the front through the opening in the main rib. Orient the lock in the open position. When installing the lock pin, align the lock pin hole in the lock with the hole in the casting. Then insert the lock pin. Slide the lock pin into the casting and through the lock until the head of the lock pin is flush with the casting. Align the hole in the lock pin so that the cotter pin can be inserted. Then insert and spread the cotter pin. Now place the plunger spring into the casting. Next install the adjustment wedge. First, lubricate the adjustment wedge with a light grease on all surfaces. Then, set it in front of the wedge stop with the angled surface of the wedge resting on the angled surface of the casting. Now, slide the adjustment bolt through the hole in the throat of the casting through the wedge spring and through the wedge. Secure the assembly using the 5 8 11 lock nut. Tighten finger tight only. Now that the adjustment wedge is installed and the plunger spring is in place, the plunger can be installed. Start by thoroughly lubricating the plunger including the pocket area with a light grease. Rotate and hold the lock in the closed position. Then slide the plunger through the opening on the right side of the throat of the casting, through the plunger spring, and through the hole in the rib of the casting. Using a helper block, compress the plunger until it is flush with the throat of the casting. As you compress the spring, make sure that the tail of the plunger remains in line with the hole in the casting. For installation of the cam arm, Start by lubricating the tail of the cam arm with a light grease. Also lubricate the hole in the cam with Never Seize. Now, install the cam arm so that the tail fits into the pocket of the plunger. Check that the hole in the cam arm is centered over the bolt hole in the casting. Insert the roller into the hole in the cam arm and secure the cam arm using the half 13 socket head cap screw. Only finger tighten the screw at this point. When installing the left-hand release arm, start by lubricating the casting hole for the release arm with Never Seize. 
lubricating the square end of the release arm with a light grease. Attach the 4.5 inch long release arm spring to the loop retainer on the release arm and install the release arm with a loop retainer and spring facing downward. Insert the roller into the hole in the casting and align the roller with the threaded hole in the release arm. Secure the release arm using a half 13 socket head cap screw. Tighten the screw using a torque wrench to between 85 and 100 foot-pounds maximum. At this point, using the torque wrench, tighten the half 13 socket head screw for the cam arm to between 85 and 100 foot-pounds maximum. Now attach the release arm spring. On older model top plates, you will attach the release arm spring to the bolt through the casting. For newer models, attach the release arm spring to the cast eyelet as shown here. To install the left hand release handle and spring, slide the handle through the driver side release handle window. Install the 3.5 inch long spring on the handle. Slide the spring around the handle towards the loop retainer. Rotate the spring on the handle so that the loop opening is aligned with the loop retainer. Rotate the spring to engage the spring end in the loop retainer. Hook the spring through the casting lug and the handle end through the hole in the end of the release arm. Place the washer over the end of the release handle and secure the handle using the cotter pin. Spread the cotter pin. Finish the rebuild process by tightening the adjustment bolt on the adjustment wedge with a 5 8 11 socket to compress the wedge spring. This process should always be followed by the lock adjustment procedure. The Holland FW8 rebuild procedure is now complete. Important the fifth wheel lock must be adjusted before placing into service. Warning, using an improperly adjusted fifth wheel may cause tractor and trailer separation which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. SAF Holland recommends performing the lock adjustment procedure after every fifth wheel rebuild. Lock adjustment procedures for the Holland FW8 fifth wheel Start the lock adjustment procedures by pulling the release handle all the way out to allow the hinged lock to swing open. Use only an SAF Holland TF-TLN 5001 lock adjustment tool. Set the tool on the fifth wheel and rotate the handle to lock the fifth wheel. The lock must be properly closed before further steps are taken. When adjusting the locking mechanism, start by checking the plunger. It must be visible behind the lock and engaged on both steps. If the plunger is not visible or not engaged on both steps, turn the adjustment bolt counterclockwise half of a turn, then try to lock the locks again. Using a 15 16 socket, first tighten the locks by turning the lock adjustment bolt clockwise a quarter turn at a time. Remove the socket wrench from the bolt and then rotate the lock adjustment tool to check for resistance between the lock and the lock adjustment tool. Continue to alternate tightening clockwise the adjustment bolt a quarter turn at a time, removing the socket wrench and rotating the lock adjustment tool until you feel the resistance against the lock adjustment tool. Once you begin to feel resistance, stop. It is important to note that at this point, the fifth wheel is over-adjusted and not usable. Loosen the adjustment bolt counterclockwise two full turns. Now the lock is properly adjusted. Verify the adjustment by locking and unlocking several times using the lock adjustment tool. Check for proper locking each time. Verify that the lock completely closes each time by checking the plunger. 
it must be visible behind the lock when properly adjusted. If at this point the fifth wheel locking mechanism does not operate properly, do not use it. Repeat the previous adjustment procedures or contact your local SAF Holland representative for assistance. If there is a large amount of fore and aft movement with the adjustment tool when verifying the adjustment, check to make sure the lock is engaged on both steps. If the locks engage only on one step, loosen the adjustment bolt until it is flush with the end of the nut. Then repeat the previous procedures of lock adjustment and adjusting the lock mechanism. Remove the tool by unhooking the J-hook from the front skirt and rotating the handle to the center of the tool. Firmly grasp the tool with both hands, slide back, and carefully lift it off the fifth wheel. Do not drop the tool from the tractor. Warning, using an improperly adjusted fifth wheel could result in an improper couple that may cause tractor and trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. It is important to never use a fifth wheel that does not operate properly. If your fifth wheel does not operate properly, contact your nearest SAF Holland representative for assistance. The Holland FW8 lock adjustment procedure is now complete.